The wheels of justice are about to take a final turn for the family of a beloved Albuquerque teacher's aide and mother. Krishana Perez was found strangled to death in her bedroom in 2019. And closing arguments wrapped up today in the trial of the suspect, her fiance. A warning, though, before we share this story, some of these details are gruesome. Some may find them very disturbing. Jeremiah Lopez admitted in initial calls and statements to police in 2019 that he strangled his fiance, Krishana Perez, had sex with her, and tried to kill himself. He laid out those graphic details again on the stand. After I lay there for about probably 10 minutes or so, and she wasn't moving or breathing, that's when I felt that she was gone. His lawyer questioned him about what he did next. I'm ashamed to say that I had sex with her. And I, after that, I went and got the knife. And I slipped my wrist. When I wasn't, didn't feel like I was going to die, I, I had sex with her again. And then I stabbed myself in the throat. Lopez says he wrote a suicide note and described another attempt. I'm just thinking, uh, how could it have gotten this far? He turned on the gas stove and sat in his running car in the garage, hoping to die from carbon monoxide poisoning. He called 911 after 10 minutes. I wanted to commit suicide. If she wasn't here, I didn't want to be. The state argues several aspects of Lopez's testimony prove deliberate intent to kill Krishana. Prosecutors cite that suicide note. I could not take losing her heart or body to another, so I had to take her with me. If that doesn't match this definition, I don't know what does. Lopez's attorney argued for voluntary manslaughter, citing sufficient provocation on Krishana's part. That provocation, he says, includes a prior relationship, Snapchat contacts, and photos Lopez saw on her phone before he accused her of planning to cheat on him. But the state had the last word Tuesday evening. I would submit it does prove, in fact, beyond a reasonable doubt, that the defendant deliberately killed Krishana, that he did so while committing those other felonies of false imprisonment and sexual assault, and the defendant is guilty as charged. Jury deliberations for this case will start first thing tomorrow morning. We'll share updates once we hear about a decision.